Rory McIlroy has been through a lot these past few years, but don't you feel like he's lost his touch? Or have his other accomplishments yet to be noticed? There's more to this man than meets the eye. Yes, we're talking about the man with brilliant finishes in majors, the man that has won the Player of the Year award and many more prizes. In every sport, there have been players blessed by the gods. Some notable basketball players include Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. It's Pele, Maradona, Messi, and Ronaldo in football. This was the world's number one in the official world golf ranking, having held it for more than 100 weeks over his career. McElroy won the Harry Varden Trophy for the fourth time, and the first time since 2015. After Henrik Stenson in 2013, he is the second guy to hold the top spot on both the PGA Tour and the European Tour in the same year. He has four major titles, the 2011 US Open Championship, the 2012 PGA Championship, the 2014 Open Championship, and the 2014 PGA Championship. He's one of three players, along with Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, to have won four majors by the age of 25. He represented Europe against the United States in the Ryder Cup in 2010, 2012, 2014, 2016, 2018, and 2021. Winning it in 2010, 2012, 2014, and 2018 with Team Europe. He was named RTE Sports Person of the Year twice in 2011 and 2014 for his individual and team exploits. McElroy had a successful amateur career as a 17-year-old, leading the world amateur golf ranking for one week in 2007. He turned professional later that year and quickly established himself on the European Tour. In 2019, he won on the European Tour, and in 2010, he won on the PGA Tour. At only 22, he became the European Tour's youngest player to collect 10 million euros in career earnings. In 2012, he became the PGA Tour's youngest player, winning $10 million in career earnings. McElroy has represented Europe, the United Kingdom, and Ireland as an amateur and as a professional. He even established a short-term goal of winning additional majors and a long-term goal of breaking Colin Montgomery's record of moneyless championships. However, his prospects of winning the race to Dubai for the third time in a row were basically ruined when he backed out of the Turkish Airlines Open owing to security concerns. In the summer of 2016, ranked second in the world and on the verge of moving to number one, he was challenged by Henrik Stenson. On Sunday, the Swede carded a final round 63, beating McElroy by four strokes. Nonetheless, he still took over as European number one. McElroy made it his duty to add more majors to his collection in 2017 and win a fourth race to Dubai Championship, which would put him halfway to matching Montgomery's total. When you see someone do something you've done previously but haven't quite gotten to this year, of course you want to do it again, the four-time major winner explained. If you can recall, McElroy finished the majors with two top 10 finishes and two missed cuts and the 27-year-old labeled his putting as terrible after exiting the US PGA Championship early for the first time in his career. McElroy later admitted he was being stubborn after attempting to solve the problem on his own and requested the assistance of Phil Kenyon. He went on to win the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup overall. It's something I need to be aware of, he added. We can say Tiger Woods appeared to be the man for the job in golf until Rory McIlroy showed up. The Northern Irish golfer is one of only four players to win four major championships before the age of 25 and dominated the PGA Tour in his 20s. As of late, he's lost that magic touch. Midway through the final round at St. Andrews in 2022, McIlroy had a two-shot lead. He could not end his eight-year major championship drought despite shooting a final round 70 without making a bogey. Cameron Smith of Australia won the Claret Jug after making eight birdies, including five consecutive ones starting at the 10th, to score his second 64 of the week and finish 20 under par. He surpassed Tiger Woods' previous record of 19 under on the old course from 2000. That night was tough, McElroy acknowledged in a pre-tournament press conference before the FedEx St. Jude Championship. The few days after it were okay, I guess. It probably took me three or four days to sort of get back to myself again. But what I think softened the blow a little bit is I felt I didn't lose it. The fact that Cam went out and shot 30 on the back nine, that made it a little easier to get over. It's not as if I went out there and shot 75. I went and played a solid round of golf, didn't get as much out of it as I was hoping for, but I think because of how I played, it made it, I guess, just a little easier to get over. When asked if he was left wondering just what he has to do to claim a fifth major title, McElroy added, 
No, I think it's more if I keep playing like that in major championships, the law of averages suggests that I'm going to get myself back in the winner's circle eventually. I played really solid, I shot 18 under par around St. Andrews for 4 days, and it wasn't quite good enough to get the job done. If I keep playing the way I've been playing in the bigger tournaments, again, as I said, the law of averages would suggest that I'm going to get myself a trophy at some point. McElroy joked that he probably didn't eat a vegetable during the two weeks he took off after the Open because he didn't touch a club, didn't see the inside of a gym. The third-ranked player in the world resumed his work later that week at home in Florida, where he tried to make history by becoming the first player to win three FedEx Cup championships and collect the $18 million bonus. Well, we all know that he did capture the record-breaking third FedEx Cup championship, but where did all the Rory McElroy dominance go to? In contrast to his dominance over the the previous 10 years, McElroy is not currently among the top favorites for any major golf tournaments, according to the Kasumo Sports betting odds. Despite a few notable victories this year, McElroy has fallen out of the top 10 and is a shell of the golfer he once was. Since his last major victory was more than five years ago, everyone is understandably wondering if McElroy has permanently lost his magic. Remember, he became the youngest golfer to ever win the Irish Closed Championship and the West of Ireland Championship in 2005 at the age of just 16. His early success spread to other countries, especially after he declined an East Tennessee State University golf scholarship. McElroy played in Europe and set record after record as an amateur before going pro in 2007. From the first years of professional competition, he maintained his excellent form. On the order of merit list, he placed 95th and earned more than $277,000. A year later, McElroy was invited by Tiger Woods to participate in the Target World Challenge, but he turned it down in favor of the European Open that same week. With six top 10 finishes in 2008, it was evident that a new golf star had emerged. Well, year to date, he has dropped out of the top 10 on the PGA ranking list and has yet to replicate his past successes. He once held the top spot for a total of 106 weeks, but he's now just a shadow of the man he once was. Where then did Rory McIlroy go wrong? According to experts, his career's explosive start is to blame. He was a young golfer who won it all and later lived a little too freely. On the PGA Tour, he is currently ranked 16th, down from 4th in 2019. He is 20th on the order of merit list and has lost his way he no longer resembles the player he once was. But McElroy acknowledges that he can and must get better. However, the golf world is forgetting one fact. He's still only 33 and has a whole career ahead of him. If McElroy finds the spark once again, he'll light the PGA Tour ablaze. We'll catch you in the next one.